Hello and welcome back to the step by step HTML tutorial for beginner series and if you have watched my previous videos of this playlist you should have a very basic website just like this one and in today's video we are going to turn this website from this to this website which is much better looking than the previous one. We are going to add some breaks in between this image and this text. We are going to add some paragraphs and then we are going to update information for these sections. We are going to add images, paragraphs, breaks and whatever we need to make it look just like this website. Okay. So let's just move on. We are going to keep this website here as an example. So we'll review at the end of the video. But at first we have got this website as of our updated one. We have to give the break at first for this one. So let's go to the code and we have got this list item as you can see software and web development. We have done all the things in our previous video to make some learning. Okay. So let's move on. We have to give the breaks just after this uh, line. So we are going to give the break so that we'll have an extra space. Let me save this one and reload this one. Just take a look. It has the space here. Now we want to add some paragraph just under this image. So let me show you how to do this. We have to go as you can see our image is here. We have to give a break in this part. So let's give the break and then give a uh, hit enter. Then take your paragraph which is uh, we are going to take the angle bracket and then P and just select this one so that we'll have paragraph starting tag and paragraph ending tag. Now we want to enter some information in between this paragraph tag so that it will look nicer on our website. So let's move to this part and I have got some demo text from Lorem, Lorem Ipsum to save our time. So let's copy this text and we are going to paste them here. And if I just save this file and reload this page, here it is. Just take a look. We have got some, parag uh, some paragraphs as well after this image. And we are going to do the same things for this image as well. And we are going to add images and other information for them as well. So let's go for them. We are going for entrepreneurship where we, we have to give the break and then we have to give another break after image and let's take paragraph tag and we have to copy and paste this text from here so let's go for this one this is just a fresh content we already we just have the list item but we have to give break here and then we have to add our image. So I'm going to take IMG tag and then the source as this is copywriting. So I have got the image here on my folder, which is copywriting.jpg and I have to enter the exact name into my uh, HTML document in un under the source section. So let's put copywriting.jpg and then I have to give another break here. Oops, sorry. I have to give the angle bracket, then break. And now let's hit enter, then take a paragraph to give a paragraph just under this one as well. So I already have them copied. So I just uh, entered control plus B. Okay. And now I have to give a break here for this one. Let's hit enter. I'm going to take my image for this section. And the image, this one is for technical skills. Let's see what is the name for technical skills here. So tech hyphen skills dot jpg so let's go back here tag hyphen skills dot jpg now let's save this one and we have to add the break for the extra space and then we have to add the paragraph here and we're going to copy and paste the paragraph from here to this page and it's time to go for the last one Let's start from the break and then we have to take our image and our image should be web design and digital marketing. Let's see which image as you can see here web underscore design dot jpg. I'm going to give the name into the source section web underscore design D S I G N dot jpg and now let's give the break. And after that we have to add our paragraph and then let's copy this text from here and paste it here. Now if I just save this document, save, let's reload this page. 
okay just take a look we have got this information added but a huge big fat image also added so we have to work on them so we are actually make these images a little bit bigger as well so let's go for this we're going to update these things all together so just take a look for the first image we have got this white we are going to change this white to let's say 700 pixels and then we have to change white for this image as well 700 pixels or it's been 7000 so 700 pixel and then we have to add alternative text and uh, white for this image the new image so let's set alternative here and then this one is copywriting business i just taken this one as an example then white should be 700 pixel let's go for the next image we have got this image here and then alternative uh, this one is for technical skills okay and then we have to provide our white information which is going to be 700 pixels and then we have got web design we have to provide the alternative text here web design and marketing and now we have to give a space here then white is going to be 700 pixels now if i just save oops we just missed to give the semicolons it it will work nicely but it is better to add semicolon as it is going to be our habit and this is a good habit to add semicolons okay so let's save this document by hitting ctrl plus add s and then i'm going to reload this page just take a look we have got a little bit bigger image now and we have got these tags which are actually not looking that good we want this website to be just like this one so what else we can do to make this website look much better and beautiful we can do some work on the body section let's go back to the code and i'm going to take some style attribute here style attribute and we're actually going to do some css work here in this place and we have learned a little little bit about style tag in one of our previous videos if you have missed please check them out to learn a little bit more okay so i'm going to give like margin right to 300 pixels and i'm going to give the semicolon here and after that let's give a space and i'm going to give margin left and i'm going to give 300 pixels so that our website will have some extra spaces from this left side and from this right side okay it will shrink in in between the center part okay so let's save this document here and if i just reload this page now you are going to see that our website is now nicely formatted all right so it's looking much better than before by doing very simple very few uh, codes now we have to work on this heading section here so as you can see this heading is in center so we have to do some css work as well for this part so let's move on here we are going to our code and then we have got here h1 tag which is list of high income skills to learn so we have to give the attribute and value in h1 tag so let's take style and then we have to give text align property then give center and hit enter so that we'll have this semicolon as well now let's save this document and we'll be able to see that our website is looking just like this website just take a look they are just became exactly copy pasting or copy pasted website okay so this is how you have to make your website look much better than when we started from the very scratch okay so if you are interested to learn from the scratch again i would love to share this link into the video description for you and if you want to practice obviously you are going to get the source code which is this one into the video description along with all of the image so just check out the video description for more things and we are going to learn about how to do html link bookmarking so that whenever we'll click on a specific link we'll visit a specific section of the web page of our website so this is really interesting and very very important tutorial going to be so i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like and let me know your opinion by commenting below share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more videos on web design and development which i'm going to i'm going to make soon so i have to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching